to be or not to be? That is the question. Whether it's noble in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against the sea of trouble, and by opposing end them? To die, to sleep, no more. And by sleep to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks the flesh is here to. It's a consummation devoutly to be wished. To die, to sleep. To sleep, perchance to dream. Aye, there's the rub. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come, when we have shuffled off this mortal coil, must give us pause. There's the respect that makes calamity of so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time, when he himself might as quiet as make with a beer bodkin? Who would fardel spare to grunt and sweat under a weary life? But that the dread of something after death, this undiscovered country from whose born no traveller turns, puzzles the will, and makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly to others we know not of. This conscience makes cowards of us all.